Large Animal Medicine Chronic John's Disease in Cattle This presentation is a collaboration between the Veterinary Channel and the Vet Video Library. John's Disease John's disease is an infectious disease of ruminants, characterized by a long incubation period and clinically by diarrhea and weight loss. The disease is of economic importance only in cattle and sheep, with weight loss being the major clinical sign in sheep. The agent of John's disease is Mycobacterium paratuberculosis. Clinical Signs Since John's disease has a long incubation period it is almost always seen in adult cows and bulls. Development of the clinical disease often follows a period of stress such as calving or around the time of peak lactation. Initially, the diarrhea tends to be intermittent, accompanied by a slight weight loss and a slight decrease in milk yield. This period of intermittent diarrhea may last for several weeks but gradually the diarrhea becomes persistent with a dramatic drop in milk yield, and a marked loss of skeletal muscle, especially from the hindquarters. As a consequence of the reduced milk yield, the calves of affected beef type suckler cows are small and stunted. Loss of coat pigmentation may also occur in a proportion of cases. Throughout the disease, however, the animal remains bright and continues to eat well. This may continue for several months but eventually if the animal is not slaughtered on economic grounds a point is reached where the animal becomes quite ill, anorexic and very dull. At this stage death usually supervenes within a day or two. Pathogenesis Under natural conditions, infection is by the oral route, following ingestion of the organism in contaminated water or feed. Transplacental infection can also occur. Infection occurs during the first month or two of life and the organism settles in the intestinal mucosa where multiplication occurs. These organisms stimulate a hypersensitivity which results in the thickening of the intestinal wall. The time taken for development of this lesion varies considerably from 15 months to several years. Obviously since there would appear to be a fairly high infection rate but a low incidence of clinical disease some animals must clear themselves of infection. The thickening of the intestinal mucosa causes loss of surface area, malabsorption, and increased epithelial permeability with loss of plasma protein. John's disease is thus an example of protein losing enteropathy, a significant loss of blood proteins occurs. The attempted maintenance of essential proteins occurs at the expense of less essential tissues especially skeletal muscle, which is noted clinically as weight loss. Epidemiology John's disease is widely distributed throughout most of the temperate areas of the world, especially Europe and North America. Poorly drained and acid soils deficient in phosphoric acid and calcium carbonate appear to favor the persistence of the disease. The organism is shed in feces and can survive and remain infective on pastures and in dried feces for up to a year at least. Infection is acquired by ingestion of infected feces or anything, water, grass, foodstuffs contaminated by infected feces. Calves less than six months old are most susceptible to infection and adult animals are normally resistant to infection. The length of time between exposure to infection and the development of clinical disease varies greatly from as short as 15 months to three years or more. Diagnosis. This is based on the characteristic clinical signs and the results of laboratory tests. Treatment. There is no effective treatment. Control. Control of the disease should be based on the slaughter of clinical cases and the prevention of infection. <laughs>